Hey, welcome on this channel. Look, I have something here that either will blow away your mind or just open up different possibility in your programming tools. Okay, so this is going to be really great. So stay with me at three, two, one. Okay, let's go. I have two things here, a function call first and something called type first and so on, right? What is the difference between these two? Okay, for most of people, they're going to say that's a function, it says that, and that's a type, that is, that's exactly what it says. However, I want to argue that these, thing, these two things are the same thing. Stay with me for a few seconds right there. Let's first implement the first function. First function takes a collection. Let's give it a collection of number in our case. We're just gonna stay with number here. And then we know that first, if you want to return the first element of a collection, you can just say collection zero, right? That's basically it. If we then go ahead and create cost an array that has one, two, and three this way, and we call the first function with that array, we know that we should have something that says one. That's it. That's what first will do. I, I, want, I want to argue that. I want to show you that you can do exactly, literally exactly, almost line for line what you did up there, right below. So before we go there, I want to show you something. What is happening in on, on that line here? There is a function, right? Function. It's a function that has a name. The name of the function is first. It takes argument. It takes one argument that is a collection of type number. But that's basically here, right? That's that's exactly what we have. So what I, me I meant by it's kind of the same, or it is even the same, it's the fact that here, instead of calling it function, we call that type. The name, yeah, the name is first in this case, right? So that's basically it. And how about the argument? So we're not passing argu the argument here. In, in, in argument here. We're not passing the argument yet because th in this case, the, the argument is not mandatory, so you don't need to use the notation for the argument. But actually, there is a way to pass argument that is basically called generics. Okay, so how do you do generics here? You do something that looks like that. That's the equivalent of putting parentheses around. And now inside there, you need to put the name of the argument. You know what? We're just going to use the collection itself right there. But if we look closely, we can see that on this line, the collection is of type number, right? So that's exactly what we could do here. But instead of saying uh, uh, column numbers here we use extend and then we said that thing is of type number look we're getting closer everything looks pretty pr like literally the same here and what we did here we said that thing is a collection and uh, of type number right this line is exactly the same as the line above right here now let's continue how about the implementation the way it's done here on line six is basically says collection uh, 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 at position zero we can do exactly that and guess what we get exactly the same result so let me go here with something called n n num or let's call result and then we say first and then we pass in here something of like array which is not this one right there is not happy with that so that's no problem okay and when we look at the result we see indeed it says one so basically we have that implementation that kind of look like this one already right that's type programming with typescript and as you can see it, you can mirror exactly what you do with uh, uh, programming uh, right there. So, for example, you could do something that says like, um, like you have, okay, you have uh, uh, this collection and you want to check that if that collection is equal no, right? So you just want to, for example, throw a new error and then you say uh, collection is required right so that you could do it uh, this way and the way you will do it right at the bottom here you will say okay collection if you extend let's assume that right here we have the uh, we have that collection here 
that is uh, being passed. And then we're going to say, if you extend, uh, let's say number of something like that, we then, that, we then say collection return that collection zero. Okay, let me move this thing a little bit here at the bottom so we can see what we're doing. Or otherwise you just use never, you, you never go there, right? So if we did it well, we should still have that result equal one. Okay, so it feels redundant like we already tap it here or we already tap it there. But here I'm just kind of mirroring exactly what we're doing here at the top. I'm just checking that it's something exists in a certain format. And then if it does, then we, I'm going to use that one. Uh, otherwise, it's never. That's it. This is functional programming. Uh, uh, not functional programming, but type programming with TypeScript. And what I'll, I, I want you to understand there is that thing is not trivial, but it can help you in, in a way on, on, on some project. But like, it, it really depends the kind of project you're working on. It really depends. Uh, uh, the complexity you you're dealing with in your project i see that most often in like libraries and so on and so forth right so hopefully this gives you a taste of what is possible just look at them the same way like hey the, the, it's a function that has a name and text argument this is also a function it happens to be called type it has a name kind of the same name and then it takes um argument which is just like generics and you can do some logic right there so that's it for this video if you want to see in-depth uh, explanation of what what is never what is extend and all of that you know what just just go crazy in the comment i'll see you in the next video you take care cheers